The eruption which started in the Swartzengi volcanic system in the Reckonance Peninsula of Iceland was the biggest. This is the biggest we have seen so far in this area. It started with a burst of the lava to a fissure, almost following the past fissure from the one which created the K1 volcano. But it extended beyond that 3.4 kilometers in numerous segments. The lava was flowing fast. I will speed it up here just to make it a little bit more shorter in that uh, time that I have to show you. The lava was pulling out and flowing. We actually could see the topography which was invisible to us through the flow of the lava. We thought uh, many parts were flat. They are not. You can see that this lava flow shows the topography. Many topography lows in this way get filled up quickly with the lava, forming pools of the lava, hot lava, like the one that you see to the left. I will mark that. You can see the flow of the lava, how it is in that uh, pool that is forming there. Most of the overflow goes toward the right again and flows toward the town of the Grindovic. This is what happened. But many of these uh, hollows exist. Eruption didn't stop on the few hours that passed since the uh, 1256. It continued over the uh, remaining part of the day, reached the western part, almost touched the town at the lava uh, defenses, and we had one fissure just near the lava defenses. This beautiful map from the RUV shows that last section of the fissure. You can see it here. It was flowing around all the infrastructure here. You can see the pylons here. It's flowing around it toward the uh, western parts of the town. It didn't stop then. It flowed all through the evening. This is the K1 now reincarnated to K12 in front of it. And uh, over the night, we could see that the lava flow didn't reduce. Although the zipper, which was the uh, fault line of this crack or fissure, was actually getting closed, the lava output was not reduced. You could see that. I will see it up here around eight times, so you can see it in a shorter time. The flow of the lava toward the lower ground, wherever there is a uh, low topography. It flows over the top of the pre-existing lava. So the lava which erupted in the uh, K1 eruption is not the bottom. This is filling up the crack. The pond forming in this way eventually will have a crust on top of it, but any moment that crust may burst and the lava will flow in a tsunami. That is what is the danger. The tsunami created in this way by this burst of the crust of over the pools can actually overwhelm the defenses of the Grindavik. The first eruption could not do it, but these lava pools, dangerous ones, can do that. They're like tsunami coming against the walls of the Grindavik. And this time, if this scenario happens, the town will be in real danger.